Hello DGS, I'm Monica Hassan and welcome to the show. In this episode, we'll take a look at one of our employees who worked his way up to becoming an attorney for the department. We'll also learn about the state food drive and how you can get involved. And we'll share some traffic safety tips to keep you safe during this holiday season. Made with you, bringing employees together. Your newscast starts now. Hello everyone, I'm Anna Lasso, your director. Next month, all DGS employees will transition to working in the office at a minimum of two days a week. Our transition to a hybrid working environment has become increasingly necessary to maximize the balance between efficiency and productivity, which in turn achieves organizational success. As we realize this will impact everyone differently, we encourage all staff to head over to our new hybrid WorkShare point page for additional resources. Earlier this year, we said goodbye to May Lee, who was the longest serving California State employee with 79 years of service. She was 102 and just shy of her 103rd birthday. We will always remember May for her decades of immense contributions to the state, service as a volunteer, and everlasting smile and laughter. As mentioned at our 60th anniversary event, the state of California will honor May's legacy by naming the Richards Boulevard office complex after her. I'd also like to remind everyone that the statewide 2023 Our Promise campaign is currently underway. Together, we raise nearly five million for nonprofits every year. To participate, log in to the Cal Employee Connect site to make a donation to a charity of your choice. The campaign ends on December 31st. Enjoy the show. I was hired to be Brent Jamison, the ISD Deputy Director's kind of project person. He had an AGPA position. And then when he had a project manager opening, I was working as the project manager uh, for about three and a half years while I was trying to get ready to take the California bar. And I really loved the work that I was doing with ISD and DGS. I'm still proud of a lot of the things that we accomplished there and was very lucky that OLS had an opening. <laughs> it actually was uh, one of the later quarters when I was at UC Davis. I had a class on the Supreme Court which was focusing on the justices and got really inspired by the Warren Court, which is the court that issued many of the great civil rights and civil liberties cases. And that kind of really sparked my interest in law and in the Supreme Court. So kind of it was building to go to law school from that moment. And then OLS um, was an opportunity that, that came up. And now I've got a great team and you know, I'm planning to stay at DGS uh, much longer than initially thought. But I think OLS is a great team. I really have enjoyed working with all of my colleagues. I love cooking and baking. I got into baking actually by accident. Back when Nugget was selling the Etteray's cakes, I fell in love with their chocolate truffle cake and I had talked it up to um, my family and said, oh, yeah, I'll bring it for Christmas. Completely forgot about it, even though I'd been at Nugget like two hours before I left and could have grabbed the cake. So I was thinking on the fly and decided to bake a cake from scratch and my cousin came out and said it was the best chocolate cake he'd ever had. So that's how I got started baking and now I just do it as hobby work. For me, the joy is making it, sharing it with people, feeding people. Massimo Bertura calls it, you know, cooking is an act of love. Anna Garten calls it, I love you, come to dinner. And it's just that act of sharing with people that's so much fun. Winters in California can vary from sunshine to rain, wind, and snow. And the holiday season brings special challenges with more vehicles on the road. Here are some tips from the California Office of Traffic Safety to keep you safe during this season. Buckle up every trip, every time. Don't text or talk on your cell phone while driving, even hands-free. If you need to make a call, check weather conditions or respond to a text, wait until you stop in a safe place, such as a rest stop or a parking lot. Carry an emergency kit. You can build your own with tips found at the California Office of Traffic Safety site. Share the driving with other passengers to avoid fatigue. Schedule trips to allow for frequent breaks. Take time to pull over at rest stops to stretch your legs and refocus. And don't fall into the trap of driving while angry. Aggressive driving can kill. For more tips, head over to the California Office of Traffic Safety's webpage. Hi, 
My name is Ceci Clark and I am part of One DGS. I came today to talk to you about the food drive. The event kicked off on November 6. There is lots of opportunity for you to participate. The event continues all the way to January 8, 2024. We highly encourage you to go to the website www.fooddrive.ca.gov. In there, you will find all the details of the different activities that are planned for this year food drive. If you want to choose a food bank, you can go to the map of California in the website and check the region that you are interested in participating. We highly encourage you to look into the specific details or restrictions of that food bank. Most of them are only taking monetary donations at the moment. If they do take food donations, your imagination is the limit. You can do from silent auctions to competitions to get the most of this for the people that are in need. If you prefer to volunteer, that will also count towards your tally. The last day to enter all your donations is January 22nd. Let's begin this holiday season by giving those less fortunate in our community. Over the past few months, we have had two new governor executive appointments. Jason Kenney was appointed Chief Deputy Director alongside Jennifer Osborne. Jason had been Deputy Director of our Real Estate Services Division since 2018 and has served in several positions within RESDI since 2016, including Chief of the Project Management and Development Branch and Deputy Director of Strategic Planning, Policy and Research. Paul Dixon was appointed Deputy Director of our Facilities Management Division. Paul has served as State Printer with the Office of State Publishing since 2021 and was Assistant Deputy Director of Operations in our Facilities Management Division from 2018 to 2021. The deputies were sworn in by DGS Director Anna M. Lasso at the DGS headquarters in Sacramento. As we prepare for a return to the office under DGS's new hybrid work model next month, we understand that many of you will have ongoing questions. To help ease the transition, we have created a new SharePoint page to provide valuable resources on telework information, guidance on remote meetings, frequently asked questions, and more. The Microsoft Teams Room is a convenient and easy to use technology that allows you to conduct business meetings on site or with a hybrid team. The DGS Teams Room will allow you to meet with the people in the same room or at home or with any of the DGS conference rooms across all of California. Our Ziggurat conference rooms now provide a complete HD audio and video meeting experience. This technology transfers your meeting into a collaborative team experience. In order to book the room, make sure you invite it as an attendee. To invite it, type DGS Zig C O N F R M, the floor the room is on, as well as the room number, and you will see it pull up in the Active Directory. Click on that to make sure it's invited. Then you click send in order to have it on your calendar. You will receive an email from the room saying whether it was declined or accepted. To start your scheduled meeting, click the join button. All the technology will turn on and be ready for you to go. You can see everybody in the meeting or coming or invite anybody who was not invited by clicking the button here and typing their name. To start an unscheduled meeting, click meet on the tablet. Once the meeting starts with all the technology turned on, you can invite the people you wish to join by clicking invite someone box and starting to type their name. The Capitol Christmas tree arrived safely to the west side of the state capitol from the Latour Demonstration State Forest on Halloween. The majestic 60-foot red fir was donated by CAL FIRE and installed and decorated by DGS with over 10,000 LED lights and about 200 handcrafted ornaments which children and adults with developmental disabilities created. For those of you who would like to see the tree in person, it will be on the west side of the Capitol building where it will twinkle until early January. Thank you for watching. This show happens because of you. So remember to head over to the Hello DGS SharePoint page to submit a request to be featured on the show or to send fun story ideas. We'll meet here again soon.